So you might have noticed recently I had a change of mind. I think Magic the Gathering is investable again. Only reserve list, only high end, specifically the dual lands, but I, also I mentioned 1A is dual lands, 1B of course, what else could it be? It would have to be power nine, right? Power nine is very, very good. So let's uh, kind of get this out of the way and let's really be honest about it. At one time, I did think that Magic cards were a really, really bad investment. And I realized that it wasn't all Magic cards. It was just sealed product. Sealed product sucks. It takes a lot of space. It doesn't gain any value. And you're just sitting on bricks, right? Literally, literally heavy bags, if you will, right? But Magic as a whole, as a collectible entity, has done everything I wanted it to do and more. So back in the 2020 boon, I believed that Magic would experience a boom somewhat similar to Pokemon. It did not in any scale, right? Pokemon went 100x, Magic went like 1.5x. So the cards did go up in price, but in comparison to sports cards or in comparison to other, other cards, it didn't go as much as... It should have gone, right, in my opinion. So it was a little disappointing that. But I did buy a shit ton of collections at the time, uh, which is well documented on this channel. I ate and ate and ate until I didn't have, and I was a single dude, didn't have a significant other, didn't have a baby on the way. So I bought at least 300 dual lands, mo a lot of underground seas. I know that most of the people wanted to sell me underground seas because my price point was so high on them. And the average cost was probably sub $200 for that particular collections during that time. Because that's what they were selling on eBay for. Now, at that time, I thought, oh, man, it could go to zero. I, like many people, thought, oh, man, this is a disaster. COVID, right? We're going to need our five booster shots soon. And uh, it didn't turn out to be. I don't think it. anyone could have predicted how COVID eventually ended. But nonetheless... Uh, more focus on the magic cards. What a ride it has been, man. What a ride. They've done well. They've outperformed the S&P 500. And like I said, if I were to buy real estate, I would want to see the real estate. In Harris County, the taxes are really, really expensive because the city of Houston is broke. So when you live in a broke city that, and your mayor is always constantly talking about how broke we are, that means he wants to raise taxes and that's what's going to happen. So in terms of real estate investment, raising tax, I was going to buy like a piece of farmland. And I realized like the taxes and that shit is like expensive unless you have four farm animals and then you have to take care of them. They can be like, uh, what was it? They were going to, so I was buying a piece of farmland and it came with two horses and three cows. And I was wondering, I was like, you're not going to take them away with you. No, no, no. You need these two horses and three cows. Because then you only pay five hundred dollars in taxes instead of like fifteen or twenty five thousand. So in the home I live in, I pay fifteen thousand, seventeen thousand dollars of taxes a year, but it's just property taxes. They're insane, insane because again, our city is bankrupt, and they want to claw back money. So is real estate really that attractive of investment for me right now? No, mortgage rates are high. You know, there's a lot of squatters, right? You read about squatter rights. Squatter rights are high, even in Texas, right? But even in like, if you are looking to invest in a piece of land in, in New York City, God bless, man, because the migrants will get that squatter. They, they're going to get that land for free. Um, Magic cards, not, not too bad, man. Not too bad. And, you know, I, look at the button. People get so offended. Don't get offended, guys. This is, you know, I was wrong about this, but I have lucked into it because, holy shit, man, I made back all my steel product and more. I'm up. Like, people don't understand. I do have a chart of how much money I'm up and down. I'm down a shit ton in sealed, but I'm up way more in, in singles because somehow, some way, I've accumulated a shit ton of dual lands at like basement bargain prices. I know I, I, I mean, I'm looking at them and I'm like, wow. So I go to the bank, I look at them. I, I actually had no, I, I completely forgot. I bought um, 
almost a complete playset of black border ones. They were foreign black borders, right? And some of them were alpha and beta. And I was like, whoa. And I have like 28 unlimited underground seas that I just had in my bank. And this is like, just like in the store. I thought they were like Weiss. I was looking for my Weiss cards. And it was just like in my Weiss cards for some reason. And I, I do not realize that how expensive that underground limited version is now compared to, I, I think I bought it in like, you know, just as I was buying the, the revised. Like, oh, I don't, and I remember like saying, oh, I don't really want to buy this one. This seems like really high. I have tracking on exactly what I have an Excel spreadsheet on what I bought because I'm buying from collections. So you have to understand when I buy from a buy list, it comes to me that way. So it's super easy for me to figure out what I paid because I just copy and pasta the thing on my Excel spreadsheet. Maybe one day I'll show it to you guys if you're interested. Um, because I think that would be interesting to go over. I lost a shit ton of money in Sealed. So that, that's a bloody mess, but you know, I would show it to you too, because if I'm gonna show you my wins, I might as well show you my losses. Better say, right? Alpha investment, show your losses, right? Because I think I learned a lot more from my losses than I did from, I didn't learn anything from my wins. You know, I just, I thought it was a waste of investment. Now I look at my S&P 500, it's, it's okay, it's not great. I look at my real estate, ah, uh, jeez. The, the whole state of Harris, uh, I mean, I, I have Harris County bond, for God's sake. And they go take, drop down every day. I look at other investments and I say, wow, you know, this one is not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be very bad and it just turned out to be pretty okay. Like, again, did I really, in, no, I was just a single dude making a shit ton of money because my business was crushing it during the pandemic. I didn't take a dime of PPP loans. None of my businesses, me individually, anyone I know, my family, my mom and dad, we didn't, we didn't take PPP loans. But I had a marketing agency where there were millions, if not billions of dollars being pumped into marketing. Did I benefit? Yeah, I did. I mean, I'm not going to disclose exactly how much I made, but I mean, I paid off my home. I bought a new Lexus sport model in cash. Like in cash, cash, because I, I just got, I could have bought like five of them if I wanted to in cash at the time. I thought about it. I was like, oh, maybe I'd get like different, no, no, but like that was just being stupid. But anyway, things are looking good, man. I'm happy as shit, man. People think I'm so depressed. No, man, my car, my cars have gone up in price. What do I got to complain about? I'm going to see at 570, baby. It hit 600, 620. I couldn't believe it. You watch my movie. I cannot believe it because I'm like, oh, shit. 3x, 4x my money. Sounds like crypto. Definitely not MetaZoo.